Hey guys, Lazus here again, and it's time for the fourth episode in the series Photoshop for the Complete Beginners. And today we're going to be continuing with the tools that I was going to upload the other day, but for some reason it didn't save, so I'm just going to have to record it again for you guys, which is not a problem at all, I guess. So let me get this off and we can start. Um, yeah, by the way, you can change your Photoshop layout if you press F it goes into full screen from full screen it goes into nearly full screen basically and then if you press it again it goes into this screen which is basically without the um, grey borderline All right. um, so we're going to be continuing with the tools where I left off last time. I think I left off um, with the eraser tool. I also noticed that I didn't go through a lot with um, the brush tool. So let's just do that. So this is your brush tool basically. Um, if you right click on the page you can increase the size of your brush right here. So if I just pick a colour for you guys, let's say red and you see you can just basically use your brush tool to paint on the page and what you can also do you can there are already some brush presets here so let's say I want to make a star you can increase the size and just paint the star alright another thing you can do you can get custom brushes that you can download from the internet but I'll go through that in a separate episode when I'll get into more detail about the brush tool. Um, another thing you can do, you can change the opacity and the flow, the hardness of the brush. So basically it got the same settings as the, er as the eraser tool that I already went through. So if you turn the hardness down, you're going to have a soft edge. If you turn the hardness up, you're going to have a hard edge. Um, if you turn the opacity down, it only paints, let's say, 29% of the colour. Alright, so it's half transparent. If I paint through it again, then it becomes more colourful. Well, not colourful, but obviously it becomes harder and harder. And the more you go through it, the colour fills up the whole page. Um, you can turn the flow down. Sorry, I got a bit of a sick, but I'm still making videos for you guys, so you can be thankful for that. <laughs> um, you can turn the um, flow down, and basically, what it does, it if you zoom in, you can see there are little circles here. It's because you turn the flow down, so if I turn it down a lot spaces between the circles will um, increase and also it ain't gonna be as hard as before the colour so I'll go through these in more detail basically you use the flow change a lot when you're digitally painting so you can blend colours so if, if I turn the flow down and change to another colour I can blend um, colours together if the flow is really low but I'll talk about that more in a separate video for you guys um, so there's the brush tool obviously um, where did I leave off? I think I left off with the eraser tool so you can go through the gradient tool and the paint bucket tool so basically what the paint bucket tool does is if you make a selection here and let's say I want to colour this in with um, the red colour I can pick my red colour right here and click on my paint bucket tool and just click on my selection and it fills in the whole thing with red plain red colour alright so pretty straightforward sorry that was my phone um, gradient tool is basically if you don't want a plain colour but you want a gradient then this is what you use this is what you, mo you use most of the time if I just give you an example if I bring this up 
my background is using a Gradient too. So if I just turn all this off um, and this and this, see this is a gradient which is on this layer. All right, so it goes from a lighter grey in the middle to darker grey around the edges. All right, so that's a gradient instead of having, let's say, a plane. If I just pick this color. Um, in my color picker I could just use my paint bucket tool to make a boring gay grey background sorry not gay what um, so yeah but obviously gradients look a lot nicer than just a plain color so you're gonna be using gradients most of the time now how you make this is basically if you pick your gradient tool up here you can change different settings I'm not going to go into too much detail about the gradient tool because is a very big part of Photoshop gradients are so I'll probably make a separate episode about just the gradient and how you change the different colors and all that but basically this is your gradient down here and then if I want to apply it to this page Hang on, let's just pick another color. Double click, select green, and then select, I don't know, blue. Right, so it's easier for you guys to see. If I want the green to start from the left side, go into blue on the right side, then basically I just click and drag to the right. And you see, I just created my gradient. If I want it from green from the bottom and then go up blue, then I'll pull this way so basically you just click and drag and it will apply your gradient the way you want it alright so pretty straightforward there's the gradient tool um, you can play around with this in your own time and make more gradients and whatnot. you can download custom gradients um, that will help you out a lot um, but I'll go into that more detail in the next episode let's just see how I'm doing with time 7 minutes so I can still make some more um, so you got the blur tool pretty straightforward it blurs things it is like the brush tool so if I right click on here increase the size it can increase the hardness and whatnot so if I turn the hardness up start painting here see my sharp little text just turned all blurry alright so pretty straightforward it blur thing then if you click and drag you got the sharpen tool obviously it does the complete <coughs> opposite so you can change the hardness again and all that and if you start painting it makes things hard alright so you don't want to overdo it because that's what happens but you can use it gently to sharpen up things then you got the smudge tool pretty straightforward again you can change the hardness and basically it smudges things alright you can um it's mainly useful in photo editing or digital painting and all that you're not really going to use it for graphic design all that sort the thing we have is the dodge tool what dodge does it lightens things all right so let's say if i don't like it this dark i can just go over it with my dodge tool and it will lighten it up all right complete opposite is the burn tool alright so if you click and drag burn tool does the complete opposite it darkens things alright guys so pretty straightforward if I don't like it this light I can just go through it with my burn tool and it will darken it up again a very useful tool for um, digital painting or digital matte painting and all that sort um, you got the sponge tool basically what it does it takes the color out of your picture so if I increase the hardness see this light blue here it turns into gray scale so if you want to take the color out of something you can use your um, sponge tool to go through it and it will take the color out of it pretty straightforward then we got the pen tool um, very useful tool but it's quite complicated basically you can make a shape with it you can make a selection with it by turning it into a selection um, and all that sort it's quite complicated I'll go through it in a separate episode for you guys so it's easier to understand 
um, but for now you can just use your um, rectangular marquee tool and your what was that the selection tool that I taught you guys um, um, where is it sorry I just wake up so I'm a bit tired but where is where is it yeah you can use your rectangular marquee tool to select things and all that make selections so you don't really want to use this uh, beginning level then you got your text tool horizontal type tool <coughs> pretty straightforward if you want to make a text on your image you just make a selection click and drag and then you can type whatever you like Photoshop tutorial and then you can change the color of it up here and you got your obviously most of you I would think used Microsoft Word before so it's nearly the same options you can change the font you can download custom fonts again I'll show you how to do that in a separate episode you can change the size you can change the layout of it you can change the color and all that sort so pretty straightforward guys um, path selection tool and all that is for the pen tool so don't worry about that then you got your rectangular tool basically it's the same as your selection tool but instead of making a selection it will make a shape alright so pretty straightforward if you click and drag you got different shapes so if you want to make a shape quickly you can just use this and it makes a separate layer for it and all that then you got your 3D object and right so I'm back guys sorry but I just got a Photoshop error for some reason so we lost all our amazing art that we made obviously um, <laughs> anyway you got your 3D object tools here that I'm not going to go through because people who got all the Photoshop version they can't use 3D tools I might make a separate video for that then you got your hand tool what basically it does it moves you around the picture so instead of moving the picture around um, you move around the picture alright and then you got your zoom zoom tool you can zoom in zoom out what I do you can left click to zoom in or right click zoom out you got fit on screen actual pixels so if you zoom in too much you can just fit on the screen and it takes you out if you got a mouse with a scroll in it what you can do is hold down alt and then scroll in and it zooms you in if you scroll out it zooms you out so that's why I use pretty straightforward and easy way of zooming in and zooming out all right and I think my time is up guys so that's about it for this episode guys I think I covered all the tools now with three episodes just in tools in the next episode you're gonna go through a really quick edit and filters um, and then probably in the episode after that I'll go through layers with you guys which is going to be a big big part of Photoshop so make sure you stay tuned for that one because it will be useful and that's about it guys so I'll see you in the next episode make sure you like comment and favorite and subscribe it really supports me a lot and it helps me keep doing what I'm doing